Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mandy. Thank you so, so much for being here. For those of you that are new, welcome. I appreciate each and everybody that comes and checks out my channel. Uh, we generally do unboxings here. I am trying to do other things as well. Um, we also do empties videos. Um, I have not done get readies with me yet, so bear with me. I am still trying to work up the courage to get on YouTube barefaced, which I have not worked up obviously yet. Um, but we do makeup related things for the most part on this channel. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And for those of you that have been with me for a while now, thank you so, so much. We are now approaching our one year anniversary on YouTube, you guys. I am so happy about that. You have no idea. So I'm going to actually go through my channel and look back and see. I know it was, I think, sometime in November that I like filmed my very first makeup video. I'm not going to count the, I mean, for those of you that have actually went through my channel, there are a couple other videos on there, which really, I'm not counting as Mandy's beauty. So I'm going to go back and look and see when the very first unboxing video that I did and come up with a date, which I think is like probably within the next week or so. And I'm going to do a video and we're going to do a little giveaway on that just to show my appreciation on how much I am so happy that I have been doing this for a year now and you guys have stuck with me and the channel grows slowly, but it's growing. So um, that that's something to look forward to. So please stay tuned for that. However, today we are here because I am so, so excited that I finally got this in the mail and it is my Tati's Beauty Palette. It is what I'm wearing today. Um, this is my second look with this. Yesterday, I did post um, an Instagram uh, picture on my very first look with um, this palette. I'll have uh, my Instagram linked below for you if you are interested and wanted to check that out. I am so in love with this palette. Now, I can't really like completely give a 100% review on this yet because I have not used every single color in here. I think I've used almost every color, but I, like I said, I've only played with it twice now, but um, this is going to be a ride or die pa uh, palette for me because it is just, you'll see when I do the swatches, which I'm sure you guys have already seen swatches on YouTube for this palette, but I'm sure most of them are like bigger beauty gurus that did them. So I'm just going to put my little taste out here and my approach on this as a smaller YouTuber with a regular opinion and review um, on these swatches, not as a paid, you know, YouTuber or anything like that. Um, this palette, I did order it on launch day. I think it actually sold out launch night. So I did order it on launch day and, oh, it doesn't even have the price on here. I think it was $48, I think. And I did put, I put my address um, out there. It came in a box like this, just a plain black box. It was very nicely, look at how gorgeous she is. She is beautiful. I don't know if anybody has showed this yet. I don't think I've seen this. I've seen the PR packages, but I have not seen people show this. Um, and it came wrapped in this uh, very, very nicely. And um, of course, you know, and then it says, beautiful is your story to tell, XO Tati. I thought that was so cute, beautiful touch to the box. So after you take everything out, you see that. That's pretty amazing. I love Tati. I watch her videos a lot. Um, I'm not like the ride or die Tati fan. Like it's not something like, I don't think I have notifications on for her. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I do love, I enjoy her videos and um, I enjoy her looks and her reviews and all that stuff. And she's like a down to earth person. So um, I definitely wanted to give this a shot because I love glitters and everybody was saying how fantastic these glitters are and they're not lying. So without further ado, 
let's go ahead and do some swatches of this palette so you guys can see. So it is Tati's Beauty um, Textured Neutrals Volume 1. And it comes like that. Very nice high end. Um, the Tati Beauty is raised. It feels like a matte. It is definitely going to get dirty for sure. Comes in the little sleeve. And see, I've already, and I've only used it 12, three times that I've touched it. Twice that I've used it. But it will get dirty. But that's okay. That means you love the palette. It does look like a book where you can just, you know, so when I can stack it up here with my other ones that actually have ends, you know. I love it when palettes have that. Like, just for instance, you know, so there's the Morphe, um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, Jeffree Star, you know, and then there's Tati. That way you can at least... I mean, you know what your palettes look like. Excuse me, but oh, I knew that was going to happen. And everything just fell. Um, okay, so my Jeffree Star mirror is on the ground. That's okay. Um, anyway, so that you can see what the palette is. I like that. So that's a very nice touch. Very weighted. Um, I love it. And it has, you know, glitter, the weight of it, metallic sequin matte, and then the weights or whatever, cruelty free on the back. You get your volume one. Very nice. So let's get into the palette, right? Very, very nice size mirror there. And it's a heavy mirror. You have your plastic, which is a heavier piece of plastic. So I'm gonna keep that one for this. Uh, full, full size mirror. And then there are your shades. Um, I don't wanna bend it back. All right, well, I'm gonna bend it so that I'm not blinding you guys. All right, so there is your colors. So, pretty you guys I mean look at the way they just shine this line here right here that line all the way across are your sequins and then here are your metallics of course your glitters and then there are your mattes so I'm sure everybody has heard they have you know their their textures and their names so we have um, Memory, Ritual, Story, Soothe, Aura, and Poet. And then, of course, each line going up for, you know, matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. These glitter shades are amazing, you guys. All right. Let me get my little wipe here so we can go through and show you some swatches of these. So what I was going to do, which I haven't seen very many people do, do. I mean, I haven't watched a whole lot of um, swatch videos on this yet, but I'm going to go for each color on, you know, each block and instead of going straight across. So we're going to go, I probably should have started in the lighter colors. That was kind of stupid. All right. So um, we're going to go up memory. So matte, the sequin, the metallic, and they're so, okay. So you know how like if you stick your hand into the Anastasia palette and it just sinks in like it's super soft like that? These are not, to me, they're not that like that kind of softness. It's a different kind of softness. Now the glitters, yes, if you press hard, you're going to make a dent in your pan. But the mattes have a, it's just not like pillowy soft like that Anastasia kind of feeling is. It's, it's not rough and chalky but it's not super, super soft. Now, yes, you get a ton of kick up, so you need to like really softly put your brush into it, but it's just a completely different formula, you guys. I, It's like no other palette that I have. Look at the sequin on that. So there is that. I'm gonna try to do this where I'm not, okay, well, that's not working. All right, so I wanna kind of do it so that you guys can see when I do it that's very pretty um and leave room for everything because I'm not the best swatching person out there and I just completely went over top of that didn't I oh no I didn't it's so hard to do swatches on video all right so there are look at that and I can't never keep a straight line Look at the sequins. They're so pretty. And the trick with those is that you have to kind of, once you start to blend it, it's going to, dis the, the sparkles are going to disappear. So you kind of just want to lay that on your lid 
after you, like you can blend it in and then go back and just kind of pat it on either with your finger or a brush because even if you use the brush it will still stick as long as you don't go to blend it and you'll see your sequins but once you blend that sequin is gone um you're not going to see very much of it at all but look at the glitter like and it completely well i wiped my hand off now i'll show you the next time it comes off your finger like normally with glitters there's always a little bit left you know not a little bit a lot of it on your fingers still left this it comes completely off of your finger i don't know how she did this but she, she did all right so we're gonna go into ritual so so nice they're just you guys have to be able to feel these yourself. It's it's soft, but it's not, I don't know. The metallics are definitely like a regular softness that you would think, like of any other metallic. It's it's that kind of texture and softness to it. Um, it's just the matte and the sequin that's a different kind of like softness. So there are those, gorgeous. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Look at how easy that goes on. I mean, that's so stunning. Same with that. Like, I'm barely pressing. I don't know if that's coming across on camera or not. But I am barely pressing on my skin. And then now I can show you what I mean by the glitter comes completely off of your finger. Did I do that? Oh, I actually did it. Okay, so look, before I move. So there's the glitter one. And you can see it's more like a shade that's left. Now watch, if I go again and wipe that off on my hand, you see I just, I didn't, I have not got out of frame. You haven't seen anything and it's gone. Like seriously, gone. So there are, what is it, uh, ritual. Your matte, your sequin, your metallic and your glitter. And just look at the shine on those. They're so pretty. It's just gorgeous, you guys. All right, moving on to the next one. Get this off. All right, so we're moving on to Story, which I've played with Story a little bit yesterday, but my favorite so far is obviously Poet. The black is like no other black. I know people, you've probably heard people say, you know, the black is amazing, but the black is truly amazing. For the two times that I've used it, it's amazing, and I've used the both in my corners. All right, so moving on to story. Very, very soft. Now I'm messing my palette up, you guys, but that's okay, I'll do that for you. I'm getting it messy. Um, let's see. I don't think I've even used, whoa, 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 Mandy. See what I mean by if you stick your hand too hard, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. In that pal in that glitter, it's going to sink. Can you see that? See how, like, eh, you probably can't see it on the camera. But it's definitely, I definitely put a dent in there. You can see where it's kind of pushed up back here. But, yeah, you touch too hard on the glitters, it's going to um, put a dent in your palette. I'm trying to put push that back down in there. I don't want it to be lost. Okay. So, there are stories colors very very pretty look at the shine this is the the meta or the sequin one is the one that i played with um yesterday in my crease you see me all being all shaky i got on it i'm gonna make sure it's straight and now i'm kind of just looking at the viewfinder trying to do this instead of looking down at my arm and then the glitter and I went overboard on this glitter one. So yeah, I'm gonna have to push that down some because I pushed down too far on my pan for that. But still, it even, look, once I rub the rest right there, gone. Crazy. All right, get that off of there. I'm gonna be glitter for days. So there is Story. So pretty, you guys. I'm trying to make it so you can see all the shine. All right, moving on to Soothe, which is 
an amazing transition shade. Both of these are like this one I've been putting down over top of my primer or concealer. Yesterday I used concealer. Today I used primer because I wanted to see if it made a difference and it didn't. So I've been putting that down first and then I go in with this as a transition color. So let's do Soothe. Look at how dirty my palette's getting now. I'm upset. And I haven't had any staining issues either. Um, and I've used the purples two days, you know, both days now. And I've also used the black in my corners. So I haven't had a staining issue with that yet. So there is Soothe. Very, very nice, like I said, transition-y colors. I am going to look down this time because I don't want to mess it up. I want to be able so you guys can see. Did that even show up? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, did it show up? But I'll go back over that in a minute. I just don't, I want you to see one swipe swatches to know that the people that are reviewing this palette are not playing. Like it is definitely, so, but I want to, I know I'm talking to myself now. I want to go back over that because that didn't turn out right. I'm making a mess all over. I'm not re-dipping into the glitter. Okay, so there we go. Oh, really? So there is those. So pretty. This is gorgeous. Wipe that. Look at the glitter everywhere now. I don't know if you can see that. But it is all over. All over my pants. All over my shirt. You love my shirt. It's so cute. Little makeup. Um, little lipstick bullet. So cute. All right. Sorry. <laughs> on, to, on to the next one. And this is uh, Aura super pretty basic cream based shade i think any skin tone would benefit from this aura shade too like actually i think all of them anybody would benefit from because they just are so naturally flattering for everybody all right so there are your aura shades and then we're gonna go here and as pale as I am, you can still see these show up on my skin tone. So there are those. See? And I'm super pale. And that's how pigmented this is. And it's right on my skin tone. Definitely can see it. That is gorgeous, you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right. We are down to the last. You can't see it down to the last row. So this is Poet, and this is my favorite row so far. The glitters in this sequin are just stunning. It is like a blue glitter. Okay guys, so my video got cut off there at that last part. So we are going to go back over this um, last part. I'm pretty sure I know where it cut off at. So we're going to start over on Poet. And this last row, is my favorite row. I'm not sure if I'm repeating myself now from, you know, being cut off and restarting, but this is my favorite of the whole entire bunch of this whole palette. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we have Poets Matte, Poets Sequin, Poets Metallic, and Poets Glitter. And you guys, stunning, stunning. So there are those. Look at that, the, the different, like the blue reflex in that. It's gorgeous. All right, so let's go ahead and go here with Poet. And then there. All right, so there are the Poet shades. And they are gorgeous on their own. Like, I can use this to make a look with just those. So, what do you guys think about this palette? Is it something that you are thinking about getting? Is it something that's catching your eye when she does a restock? Is it, you know, you have to have it? Um, I can't complain, you guys. I think it's gorgeous. I think I'm going to use this constantly. Um... It's just, it's, it's gorgeous. I, I can't, 
there's not enough words to say how gorgeous and beautiful and stunning and just pretty this is. It is amazing. If you guys are thinking about getting this, I would 100% say it is worth the splurge because it is something that you will use. And if you love glitters, it is stunning for the glitters. So if that helps your decision any on if you guys want to get this or not, I hope it helps. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. I can't wait to continue to play with it. Um, I just, I love it. It's flattering. It's easy to work with. It blends like a dream. I'm not sponsored, you guys. This is just an amazing palette. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it. If you have it, if you want it, you know, all that good stuff. Um, it's just amazing. And I 100% would say, yes, go for this palette. You guys, it's amazing. So, stay tuned for my anniversary video. I will be doing that probably research that tonight and find out exactly when that very first video was um, put up that way I know and um, we'll do that video and we also have all the boxes coming in so I will definitely keep you posted on that so you guys thank you so much for being here I know it was a long video and I know I had to piece it together from being interrupted so I hope that wasn't too bad on it um, you know it looks too bad or whatever but you guys, thank you so, so, so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and help me grow a little bit more. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.